Hi, I'm Handyman Matt. Today we're going to be installing a new five foot dome. It's a prototype, it's a new design. We're going to be working with Paul Lindo Construction. This is a brand new frame, however, this product can be used also in a remodel. In a minute, we're going to be getting here with Paul Lindo, I said, with Paul Lindo Construction, and we're going to be showing you how easy this kit is to be put in. Come on. All right, this is Universal Dome Kit. It's a new prototype made by Archways and Ceilings. This dome is unique in that it is DIY ready. The way we manufacture it makes it super easy, super simple to install. As you can see, the first thing Paul did was to measure the center marks on each of the four sides of the box. Now the dome is five feet wide in the clear, and then he's also measured over 30 inches to make the center marks. Now you got four pieces for the outer ring. Paul just finished nailing in the second one. He's actually putting the third piece of the ring up. What you do is you line it to the center mark and then uh, nail it in place. Paul actually uses a T-nailer. We recommend this. Um, if you do, if you're a framer and you have a nail gun, uh, switch to eights. That'd be easier. Uh, you won't blow out the product as much. However, if you got sixteens, feel free to use them. Uh, they've been used several times. All right, Paul's just finished installing the last part of the ring. Now the next step is we give you a dome tie. When you're putting the rafters in, the first thing you need to do is to set the dome tie in place. And to do that, you take two rafters on each side and then you nail them into the top of the dome tie just as Paul's doing right now. Then what he does is he'll take the dome tie and actually slip it into the slots on each side. Now, as we zoom up right here, you'll see it just slide right in. It's a perfect fit. The reason we do this is, one, it becomes self-supporting. The other reason why we have these perfectly made slots is that the spacing for the rafters will be equal distance apart, which means when you drywall it, it will actually be perfect. All right, after you got the two installed, what you want to do is you want to install the other two to create the T. This will keep the uh, dome kit up at the top perfectly in place. Now, this is a five foot dome kit, and this is the DIY ready-made one that we have. If you have a different size dome, we can still do it. We make it a little bit different, it's still easy, but this dome comes with the preformed slots, which kind of snap into place. As you saw that, Paul kind of snapped that one in place. As, as you put a rafter in, you're actually putting it up against the dome tie, and then you're applying pressure up against the ring. Watch him do it right here and it snaps in place. You can actually probably let go of the rafter and it'd be self-supporting in that point because it actually sits on a little bit of a ledge, about a quarter inch. Alright, once Paul finishes all the rafters, you'll notice it's easier to understand how the rafters are equal distance apart. As part of the kit, we put in a template for you that you can trace on the drywall so that, that you can perfectly lay these triangular curved pieces from the from abutting against the ring up to the very center as it ta tapers into the middle. When you drywall this, it, th this dome becomes even more rigid and you'll see that it can easily hold any weight you're looking for. Uh, put any kind of lighting, any kind of chandelier there. If you do want some added support, you can throw a dome beam across the top and nail the dome tie into it. This is the Universal Dome Kit prototype that's going to be released January 2013. Look for it online.